Daniel Fils. The stage is yours. Thank you, Tanya. <coughs> Good evening. So as you heard, I'm Daniel. I'm a biologist and we will dive quite quickly into the electromagnetic world. There is a load of electromagnetic waves coming from the universe on our planet. Some are filtered, some reach the ecosystems and life is used to them. The question is, technical devices use electromagnetic waves to send and receive. And what about cells? Are cells also sensitive to electromagnetic waves? Now, this man here is actually, he was 11 times nominated for Nobel Prize. Alexander Gurevich discovered that cells do emit electromagnetic waves. And the question we should ask is also whether they do receive it. So a kind of a working hypothesis is we know that cells do emit electromagnetic waves and the question is whether their own electromagnetic waves feed back on them and have an effect. So I'm taking you a little bit into research how to answer that question. This is just a glass barrier which doesn't allow material to trespass from left to right. These are cells using electromagnetic waves that can trespass. And with that method, this is like a little aquarium with a group of cells here, another one in the smaller tank. These are the cells. With this system, <clears throat> one can ask cells whether they have an effect on each other. So in, in a series of experiments, I wanted to find out first, are they sensitive? What is the function of the signals? And probably also whether different organisms can talk to each other. We do not go into details, but these were the first results that were telling me there are strong effects if they have many neighbors or a few neighbors. This was highly significant in two different systems. And analyzing that, I wondered whether the regulation of cell density is electromagnetically organized. What has that to do with us? If your cells are not regulated in density, we all would look monstrous. So there is a regulation. The question is whether it's electromagnetic. And these findings were telling me, I do not explain why, that the tester cells followed actually the inducer cells, which was the indication that there is an electromagnetic system talking and working between cells and most probably in our bodies. Here I was testing whether different organisms have an effect on each other across glass. Do not try to interpret it. It's just to show you that this is published work. It's not just talking. And these cells have an effect on each other. So probably we are looking at a universal code of life. And um, it's so interesting, again, I do not interpret these pictures, but these pictures are the reason why I'm formulating this question. It looks as if cells can feel the death on the other side of a glass and compensate death. It is as if they can make decisions. I believe cells are intelligent, not only brains. A single cell is intelligent. I'm not the only one who does this work. There's a book with 16 chapters written by experts in the field of fields of the cell. Even though the topic is not yet mainstream, there is an increasing worldwide interest in the electromagnetic aspect of our body. And um, just be aware, when you stand on a weighing machine, you're measuring your chemicals, your matter. The fields have zero gram contribution. In summary, cells have fields and matter are sensitive to material and fields talk chemically and electromagnetically with each other and probably inherit not only DNA, but also the fields. We should take the whole issue serious, not making us crazy, but I think we should learn more and inform ourselves. The cells I'm working with, when you place them beside a cell phone and the control is cell phone switched off, cell phones switched on and cells, they show crippled shapes and cannot grow anymore. So I take it serious and I'm just talking in the place of these cells. We can talk chemically but also with light. Electromagnetic waves are light. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>